Did you guys see this? The orange dude invented a racist holiday. Before all of the mess that's happened during the last few days, our soon-to-be former president, or currently former president, depending on when we're watching this video, proclaimed November 1st to be, and I quote, National Remembrance for Americans Killed by Illegal Aliens Day. Yeah, he put it on the official White House website. Trump invented a racist holiday targeting Mexicans during the spiritual, important, and actual real holiday that Mexicans celebrate Day of the Dead, or Dia de, lo, Dia de los Muertos. I'm, I'm too white to properly pronounce it because I'm stupid and ignorant, so. This and more on today's Roast This Post. But hey, let's get back to reason 5027 why this man is racist. At this point, racism is part of 45's brand. He's mad that he didn't make it mandatory to wear a fake mustache for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's not a stock photo, by the way. That's Republican Senator Jeremy Miller. Orange Face is just jealous of all of the racist holidays that he didn't create. I'm never going to understand how people defend this one, but that's another story. I think inventing a racist holiday was on this guy's presidential bucket list. Can you imagine how upset conservatives would be if a Democratic president made a holiday called National Remembrance for Black People Killed by the Police Day? Or how about National Remembrance for All of Those That the President Let Die of COVID Day? Basically, Donald Trump has continuously repeated this inaccurate claim that 63,000 Americans have been killed since the 9-11 terrorist attacks by people who came to the U.S. illegally. However, that statistic is a completely flawed understanding and mis interpretation of data from a 2011 study by the Government Accountability Office. The GAO does not at all say at any point how many homicides were committed each year by undocumented immigrants. While those numbers are inaccurate, there's mountains and mountains of evidence showing that undocumented Americans are the least likely to commit any crime out of fear of deportation. And yes, I will provide evidence to all of these claims, but first, let's just use common sense for a second. If you're white in America, you can get a slap on the wrist for being a rapist or for being deemed to be too rich to understand your consequences of drinking and driving and killing four people. However, if you're a Mexican in America and you weren't born here, you're scared to jaywalk. So let's take a look at this. A 2014 study published from the American Society of Criminology stated that research has found that high levels of immigration are associated with lower levels of crime, especially criminal violence, and that the current consensus among among social scientists is that immigration reduces violent crime. They go on to show us that the near certainty that an undocumented immigrant will be removed if convicted of a crime has been found to be a strong crime deterrent among immigrants. Even in states touching the Mexican border, like Texas, the crime rate still doesn't reflect the narrative that number 45 likes to push. A report from the Immigration Policy Center shows us that crime rates have declined as immigration has increased, at the same time that immigration, especially undocumented immigration, has reached and surpassed historic highs Crime rates in the United States have declined, notably in cities with large immigrant populations. Among men aged 18 to 39, who make up the vast majority of the prison population, the 3.5% incarceration rate by those born in the United States is five times higher than the 0.7% incarceration rate of those not born in the United States. Five times higher. Five. When analyzing the data from a 15-year period, it was said that we do not find any evidence that more apprehensions of undocumented Americans in a district reduces crime rates, nor do we find any evidence that apprehensions improved employment and wages for less educated natives. To sum it all up, when you look at all of the information, all the studies from all of the universities, from all of the scholars, undocumented Americans are kind of the perfect Americans. This is what I mean. They pay taxes, they contribute towards the United States economy, they do not negatively impact employment opportunities, and they commit far less crime. There's literally no reason to hate them other than you being racist. That's all that's left. What also upsets me about this racist holiday being announced is it happening during Day of the Dead. My girlfriend's Mexican. We've been together for, I don't know, like eight years or something. And through her, I was made aware of this celebration. I absolutely love it. I respect it. I 
love celebrating it with her, and I try to educate myself more about the culture and the celebration. If you're not familiar with it, Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday celebrated in Mexico and elsewhere. It's a multi-day holiday that involves family and friends gathering to pray for and remember friends and family members that have died. It is commonly portrayed as a celebration of life rather than mourning. So while this administration is busy comparing these concentration camps to summer camps, there have been over 4,500 cases of sexual assault, hundreds towards children, with over 500 children being removed from their parents. All of this happening while Mexicans can't even enjoy a tradition and a celebration without Trump inventing a racist holiday during the same time period based off of his own blatant lies and misinformation. So basically, if we wanted to kick out any group in this country with the goal of making this country safer, we would have to start with legal Americans first. Thank you for watching and check out my Patreon page where you can find exclusive content updated regularly. And find me at Jeff Horst on YouTube and all social media. Can you imagine how upset conservatives would be if a Democratic president made a holiday called National Remembrance for Black People Killed by the Police Day?